Okay guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to get more knee flexion in your knee and get that glide movement better in your knee from where the tibia goes around the femur. If you're really struggling post-surgery or post-surgery, usually it's the surgical people, ACLs, toe knee replacements, that sort of thing, where they lose the range of knee flexion. So when the tibia goes back on the femur, so that movement there, so when you go into knee flexion and they've lost that range and it's really tight in the front of the knee that sort of thing i'm going to help you do stuff at home to replicate what we do in the clinic to help improve the glide and the stretch of the knee usually in the clinic and you've seen that in videos before with to get knee flexion i use a tibia and i go an ap glide on the tibia it's like well how do you do that at home you can help stretch it yourself but you can also use a band. And what we're gonna do is show you how to do it in a lunge position, that's the easiest way of doing it. You'll need a big power band like that, okay? So the blue one is usually the best one. It's pretty thick, it's pretty heavy, but it's really nice and comfy because it's wide, and trust me, it's not that too heavy on your leg. What you'll need to do though, is put it or attach it to something, it's not gonna move. Now, I suggest what you do is have that sort of down almost around about knee height. So you work out where your knee is, it's around about knee height, maybe you go a little bit lower, that sort of thing. And so therefore the line of pull is gonna be pretty straight. There's also, you need to be lunging down so you don't want it sort of hitting you. Now what you do, you gotta think about the time case. When your knee flexes, your tibia slide, glides and rolls under your femur, all right? It doesn't just hinge open like that. It's more of a movement like that. So what we're trying to do is help the glide movement. And that movement you can lose simply if your tissues have been inflamed, swollen, they've contracted, maybe they've really scarred and stiffened following surgery, especially those people who've had total knee replacements with the surgery scar in the front, then this is definitely for you. Because what we're gonna do is use that band as the physio's hand. So my hands in the clinic will be doing an AP glide. The band is gonna do the AP glide for me. And the interesting thing about this is, it's gonna increase as I go into flexion. Now, admittedly, there's only so much range I can get out of that, and I'll show you in a minute. But what we wanna aim for is getting the flexion movement better throughout the entire movement, okay? So we're gonna start from, say, an extension like that, and you can see how it's below my knee. So it's doing an AP glide, so it's going to be completely safe for those ACLs because it's an AP glide, it's not a PA glide. So from that point there, already when I've got it loaded like that, I've got this pressure here pulling my tibia back, okay? So I'm already a bit of an advantage to go into flexion. So from here, I can start from top of my lunge, and then I can go down, go into my lunge, push my knee forward over my toes, be in the back knee, and go right down into flexion here with that band fully pulling that way, okay? And then push back upwards. Now the good thing about this is that band is providing me with a bit of load and I have to keep stable with this. It's gonna help your knee stability. But the biggest thing about this is having a constant AP glide that actually increases, because I'm stretching the band, as I go into flexion. Now this is the beautiful thing about this is that you're providing a really nice constant glide movement to assist my flexion movement and what it does is it stretches the tissues as you go okay now as long as this doesn't cause any pain you just go nice and slow you don't have to do quick reps with this and come up and back so that's your lunge run okay really nice one to do what you can also do is if you want to or if you feel like you're not strong enough to hold a lunge all right if you feel like oh this is a little bit hard what you can do is just drop down into a kneeling position and do it this way. So now you can just focus on straight on just the flexion without the load. So some of you might find that the load's too much or maybe you're early on in your rehab and you can't handle a lunge already and you go, well, I can't handle a lunge, how am I gonna do this? What you do from there is have the band perhaps a little bit to the sides just so it's not hitting you in the back there. And what you can do is just push that knee forward, put some weight on here and just drive forward. Now the good thing about this is I can now go deeper than I did with my lunge, all right? Because a lot of people aren't strong at the bottom of their lunge, so they can't get very, go very deep. But now, with this constant load of it going from AP direction of the tibia, I can push that forward. And think about what it's doing is it's gliding, sliding that tibia underneath my femur, and I can get a little bit further range. Now, of course, you can see 
I'm not getting full range. And a lot of people say, well, but my problem is at end range. I can't get my, my knee all the way back. This is gonna help you fill all the, all the first part of the movement, like the three quarters of the range. If you can get that sorted, you're more likely to get range, the full range back. Because if you're already tight in the first three quarters, good luck for you trying to get the full range, right? So clear out the three quarter range first, okay? Then you can focus, and it'll be a lot easier to focus on getting the full range at the end. Now, that's how I do it for the majority of the population, especially the ACL people. There are some people who need it the other way, and I'll explain why. When you've got, say, a total knee replacement surgery, you're very, very stiff in the front, okay? And the, there's a lot of scarring through tissues in the front. They've been blown up, they've been swollen, and they've got to calm down. And when they calm down, they contract a little bit. So when people bend their knees, they haven't got enough tissue range in the front to actually bend their knee. So what you can do, and this is with caution, I'd probably be highly recommend you consult your physio before you do this but what I've got one of my patients doing is doing it the other way and you may think hey Tim that's no good that's doing a PA direction and it's supposed to move AP correct but what she's doing is she's using it in this position here to stretch the front of the knee and the good thing about this is it actually gets lesser as she goes in when it gets tighter okay so she's just using it she finds that we and we find with her traction of that well traction providing distraction into a PA direction helps stretch the front of she's got so much stiffness from her surgery in the front of the knee that when she goes forward she can actually get more range in her knee doing this with a band than without she still does it the other way okay she still does helping the glide mechanism we don't just just do this we make sure we do the other way but this way here really helps her stretch out the front and here, which she couldn't do without the band. So there's only sort of, this way is only for people in specific circumstances like having too much stiffness in the front of the knee, majority is going the other way. So if you've got problems in deflection and you can't see, you're wondering what to do at home, try that with the band going that way, see if that helps.